Hello friends, welcome to Cloud's Tech Talk again. Today we will learn about IBM Cloud Development CLI. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Cloud Development CLI. IBM Cloud Development CLI is a great tool for developers. Developers can create web application, mobile application, microservices, and even within microservices, you can you can have your preferred languages like uh, Node.js, Java. You can quickly build a sample starter application using IBM Cloud Development CLI. So get ready for IBM Cloud Dev CLI. You have to first install IBM Cloud Aka Bluemix CLI. So I have given the URL here. If you don't have Bluemix CLI yet, so you can install it from there. And then also you need to install Docker because IBM Cloud Development CLI internally uses Docker command as well. So it generates Docker file for you by default. So you need to install the Docker in your system. So you can you can get it from the provided link as well. So I'll put all the links in the description below. Then install dependent CLI tool like for example kubectl because if you want to run your container docker container using orchestrator like for example kubernetes then kubectl is your friend right and then lastly you need to install ibm cloud dev cli so these are the so these are the very useful uh, links and tools, I would say, for developers. Whoever is willing to work on IBM Cloud environment, these are the friends for you. So what are the activities we will be performing for this hands-on? First, definitely we will log into IBM Cloud using CLI, Aka Bluemix CLI. Then install IBM Cloud Dev CLI and its dependency that I have just mentioned. And then we will create a sample Node.js application using IBM Dev CLI. We will explore the files created by the Node.js application. And of course, we can build and deploy the application and test the application. But last two steps will take some time and we increase the video length. So I'll, I'll leave up to you and explore a bit all the commands. I will show you all the required commands. If you type BX dev, it will give you all the listed commands and you can explore Bluemix dev build and BX dev run commands then you will see that automatically it is creating and building all the required files and artifacts outputs and then out of that you can run your own node.js container so let's move on to the hands-on session so i have already installed bluemix cli so let's install bluemix dev cli now So it took a little while to download and install the plugin. Now you can test the plugin using BX dev. You can see now it is listing down all the available options for BX dev plugin, right? So using this command, now we are going to create a Node.js application. Let's clear the screen. So now let's create a demo folder, CD to demo, clear the screen. And now uh, here we do not have anything. You can see that now let's use bx dev and create command let's see what options do we have so it's retrieving available starters options now there are four options web app mobile app backend for front end and microservices let's choose microservice option only one option available one basic then node let's give a name for this project ibm cloud dev cli the host name for the project so if you upload this project in ibm cloud environments you should provide a host name to access the application so that is the reason so let's provide ibm cloud dev cli at ctt so it will be unique i hope after hitting the enter it is currently validating host name yes that is available so the next question is do you want to add any service let's go ahead with why so there are two options available cloud and no sql database and object storage so let's choose one three plan options let's go ahead with light so you don't want to spend any money for this demo so let's go ahead with one light so let's this time choose n it's generating the project so project has been created so it has just created all the required folder structure and files so let's clear the screen 
now validate the created folder structure so let's move to the folder clear the screen here all the required folder structure and files have been created so now explore all the folders and files and as you can see there is a package.json so the node.js folder has been created so let's open it using visual code and you can see that everything is almost done so starter project has been created for you it includes almost everything to support IBM cloud and even it is a microservice project so that is why a sample docker file has also been provided so you can quickly build a docker container for this project so let's open the docker file using visual studio see there is a sample docker file as well now using other commands bx dev build run you can also build this project and run it so i'm not going to demonstrate all these things in in this demo however you can try yourself just use bx dev and build it will build the project and then you can also run using bx dev and run so if you build the project then it will automatically create the required container for you from the docker file that i have already shown you right so it will create a docker file image for you from that docker file that i have already shown and using that docker image you can create any number of containers as you like so you can see that blooming dev cli is very helpful for developers you can quickly build a sample starter node.js application or even other uh, application as well like for example java you can use your preferred language there are four options available so bx dev command will help you to create the basic folder and file structure for your project and you can just follow and enhance on top of that so that's it guys for today hope this is useful for you so if you like this video please hit thumbs up and else you can also press thumbs down so please hit the subscribe button and bell icon as well to support this channel i'll really appreciate that thank you guys then see you in next city video